And this comes as our collection of Steve's Coats for Kids is about to kick off. Every year, Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson leads our drive to collect coats for children who don't have them. So be on the lookout for the donation bins and drop in new or gently used coats at Ashley Home Stores, Showmars, Hendrick Honda, or ER Plumbing Services. We've already had some wintry weather, and winter doesn't even officially start until tomorrow. So imagine going through it without a warm coat. Well, you can keep that from happening to children in our area by donating to Channel 9's Steve's Coats for Kids Drive. Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson shows us how it can make life better for local families. <laughs> Willa Delancey's West Charlotte Kitchen, she and two of her eight kids are getting ready for Christmas. All right, sugar, thank you so much. But while the holiday spirit is there, the holiday budget is a little tougher to come by. And unfortunately, that's nothing new. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff, you know, been through a lot. That it seems like I struggle at sometimes with that because it's not enough. And that's where I get to come in and work some holiday magic. So it got cold so fast this season? I'm paying the family a special visit, along with Liana Humphrey from Crisis Assistance Ministry. Hello there. Hi. Hey, how are how you? Doing? Hello, Miss Willa. Hey. Oh we have God. some coats from Christ Assistance Ministry. Yes. These coats yes. have all been donated through our Steve's Coats for Kids drive. And today, Willa's kids are on the receiving end. Yeah, lots of good choices. Yeah. Lanasia, her youngest, tries one on that's just a little bit too big. Ooh, so does big sister Lanaya. But for both girls, Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Girl, what's I that? think you got a good one. The second time's the charm. Ooh, look at there. There's even a coat for Willa because, of course, kids want their moms to be warm too. With a coat for everyone, including the older siblings, there's one less thing for this family to worry about, which means Christmas for them just got a whole lot brighter and warmer. Because they have coats now. Yeah, and it makes me feel real good as a mom that I don't have to be worried or stressed out about them getting coats. That's a decision no parent should have to make. No. You know, feeding yeah. the kids, keeping the kids warm, yeah. or getting them, you know, a warm coat. Right. So let's take that part out of the equation. We need your help. And obviously, you can make it a warm winter for all the families in our area by donating that new or gently used coat at any of these locations. The barrels are out Ashley Home Store, Show Mars, Hendrick Honda, and ER Plumbing Services. To find the nearest location to you, go to stevescoatsforkids.com. We're just days away from the official kickoff of Channel 9 Steve's Coats for Kids drive. And once again, Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson is working to collect coats for local kids who don't have them. Donation bins are already out at Ashley Home Store locations, Show Mars, Hendrick Honda, and the ER Plumbing Services. Just look for the donation boxes. Steve's Coats for Kids .com has more information. Our Steve's Coats for Kids collection is coming up this year. You can donate newer, gently used coats at any Ashley Home Store, Show Mars, Hendrick Honda, or ER Plumbing Services. Now they'll have donation boxes there, and we hope you can help us out. Imagine a child out in the cold this winter without a warm coat. Well, you can keep that from happening by donating to our Steve's Coats for Kids drive. Donation boxes are already out for your new and gently used coats. Look for them at Ashley Home Store, Show Mars, Hendrick Honda, and ER Plumbing Services. Steve's Coats for Kids .com has more information. Well, Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson needs your help to make sure kids in our area without a warm coat can get one. It's all a part of our Steve's Coats for Kids drive. You can drop off your new and gently used coats at Ashley Home Store, Show Mars, Hendrick Honda, and ER Plumbing Services. Steve's Coats for Kids .com has more information. Well, once again, Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson is leading the effort to help thousands of local kids who don't have warm coats. Now, you can donate new or gently used coats at Ashley Home Store, Show Mars, Hendrick Honda, and ER Plumbing Services. And just look for the donation boxes there. Steve'sCoatsForKids.com has more information. When the temperature drops back down, every child certainly needs a warm coat. Right, Steve? Yeah, Erica, we do have, of course, our annual Steve's Coats for Kids drive getting underway tomorrow. You can donate new and gently used coats at Ashley Home Store, Showmars, Hendrick Honda, and ER Plumbing Services. For a location nearest to you, go to stevescoatsforkids.com. We've got all the information. All right, today is the day we officially kick off Channel 9's annual collection of Steve's Coats for Kids. And once again, Chief Meteorologist Steve Houston is leading our drive 
to provide warm coats for kids who don't have them. You can donate new and gently used coats at any location at Ashley, Ashley Home Store, Showmars, Hendrick Honda, and ER Plumbing Services. Just go to stevescoatsforkids.com and all the information is posted right there. Today you have two chances to help out with Channel 9's Steve's Coats for Kids Drive and meet Chief Meteorologist Steve Hudelson. Steve's holding a special collection today from 10 to noon. He'll be at Hendrick Honda on South Boulevard in Charlotte. Then this afternoon from 2 to 4, he'll be over at Ashley Home Store on Carolina Place Parkway in Pineville. Stop by and say hi and take some of those coats to help local kids stay warm this winter. Good morning, I'm Channel 9's Steve Udelson. We are live at Hendrick Honda, the 8900 block of South Boulevard, a special collection for Steve's Coats for Kids. We're looking for new and gently used coats of all sizes, especially the larger sizes. It's always the greatest need, and there's still plenty of cold weather left. You heard Keith talking about it this morning. By late this week, kids will be needing coats like this. And we're going to be here till noon today. If you can't make it, go to stevescoatsforkids.com for the drop-off location nearest to you. Good morning. Once again, I'm Channel 9 Steve Udelson. We are live at Hendrick Honda, the 8900 block of South Boulevard, a special collection for Steve's Coats for Kids. Our friends at Hendrick Honda are putting the, the uh, coats that you have donated into the boxes. We're hoping you can come by and help us out. We're here for about another hour. Uh, again, these boxes will stay here through the week. So again, if you can't make it now, don't worry. You can go to stevescoatsforkids.com for the nearest drop-off location for you. Plenty of winter left. Please help donate. Good morning once again. I'm Channel 9 Steve Udelson. We are live at Hendrick Honda for a special collection for Steve's Coats for Kids. Here till noon today, these are the coats that you have donated. Thank you, Troy. So this is what we're looking for. New and gently used coats of all sizes. They all go to Crisis Assistance Ministry. They will get sorted and they will get out on the racks to help keep area kids warm for the rest of this winter. And believe me, as you've been hearing Keith all morning, there's plenty of winter chill left. Come on down. We're here until noon. Or go to stevescoatsforkids.com. Good morning once again. I'm Channel 9 Steve Udelson. We are live at Hendrick Honda wrapping up a very successful special collection for Steve's Coats for Kids. I love being surrounded by all the coats that you have donated. New and gently used. Bottom line is we have a lot of winter left. Don't let today's warmth fool you. Uh, I want to thank Hendrick Honda again for uh, backing us, backing uh, Steve's Coats for over 10 years. Again, you can come here. These boxes will be here through the weekend or you can go to stevescoatsforkids.com for the drop-off location nearest to you. Today's a big day here at Channel 9, our annual collection here at our studios of Steve's Coats for Kids. And we have Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson. He is leading the drive as always. And uh, Steve, having a lot of fun out there. Uh, you met a lot of generous people coming out to donate coats. Year after year, uh, Blaine, 15 years now. It's been incredible. And I, I just want to walk you through the process. Get all these bags of coats. That's the first thing we do is get the coats in the bags. This was a key addition a couple of years ago. Our friends at Centos literally go through every coat, new and gently used. They sort them, they clean them, and if a coat is, say, a little more than gently used, they try to mend it. And the bottom line is to try to get as many of the coats that are collected onto the backs of kids. From Cintas, we head on, take the coats on over to Crisis Assistance Ministry. They have an incredible free store there. All you have to do is show up and you can take the coats that you need. You know, we started this 15 years ago with the thought that no parent should ever have to worry about, do I heat my home, do I put food on the table, or a warm coat on my child? We're trying to take one piece of that equation out, so as many free coats as we can get, that's what we're trying to do. And again, we're going to be here till 7 o'clock this afternoon. Don't worry if you can't make it down to the studios today. The boxes will be out through the weekend. You can go to any of our family focus uh, sponsors. That is a Hendrick Honda, ER Plumbing. You can head on over to uh, Crisis Assistance and drop them out there directly. You can go to any Showmars or Ashley Home Store. We also had a special day uh, at Channel 9 here yesterday, making sure that local kids stay warm this winter. We hosted Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson's Coats for Kids Drive here at our mm -hmm. studios. So much fun. Dozens of cars lined up outside of our station to drop off what they could, some heavy loads there. And a group from the Kids Are Kids Learning Academy in Matthews was the first to arrive with their Coats for Kids. And one man told Steve he makes an effort to drop by each year. You hear every year? Every right? year. Every year. It's fantastic. There's always something to give. Okay. But there are people that need. Right? Yeah. Well, that's what it's about, right? Yes, sir. Yes, Pay sir. it forward. Yes, sir, it is. Glad we have people like that in our community. Now, we don't have the exact number of the coats we collected yesterday just yet, but we know it is in the thousands. 
Those coats will now be passed off to our friends at CentOS for repairs and cleaning before then heading to the Crisis Assistance Ministry in Charlotte. And if you have not donated yet, you still can. You have through January 13th, and you'll find the donation bins. Here's the list at Ashley Home Store. Locations also Showmars, Hendrick Honda, ER Plumbing Services, and all Charlotte Fire Stations. Just look for the donation boxes. Steve's Coats for Kids com has more information. Channel 9 Steve's Coats for Kids Drive is still going strong. Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson is leading our effort to help thousands of local kids who don't have warm coats. You can donate new or gently used coats at Ashley Home Store, Showmars, Hendrick Honda, ER Plumbing Services, and any Charlotte Fire Station. To find a location that's close to you, you can go to stevescoatsforkids.com. This weekend, we wrap up our annual Steve's Coats for the Kids Drive. Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson needs your help to make sure local kids stay warm this winter and for years to come. Now, we still have donation bins at Ashley Home Store locations, Showmars, Hendrick Honda, ER Plumbing Services, and at all Charlotte Fire Stations. The collection ends tomorrow. And someone, of course, needs that larger coat size, too, because remember, I mean, kids wear adult sizes, and we'll take any and all of the coats you can give. And again, hats off to our friends at CentOS for making them look like brand new once again. Now, all of our donation bins are still out at Ashley Home Store, Showmars, Hendrick Honda, and ER Plumbing Services, all Charlotte Fire Stations. Go to stevescoatsforkids.com for the nearest drop off to you. There's 80 in all, and I'll be doing one last special drive tomorrow at the Checkers game. Hope you can join us. Well, there's a special promotion at tonight's Charlotte Checkers game. If you donated a coat to Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson's Coats for Kids Drive, you got a free ticket for a game later this month. Now, Steve was there as dozens of people dropped off gently used or new coats. And the Checkers say that they are glad to help and they hope others realize how badly some people need those jackets. Outside, I mean, you know, I, I think people are pretty grateful for their coats right now, and hopefully, people can take a moment and think about people that may not be so lucky and uh, try to help out. It's not too late to help. The drive ends tomorrow, but we still have bins out at Ashley Home Store locations, Showmars, Hendrick Honda, ER Plumbing Services, and at all of the Charlotte Fire Stations. We want to thank you, those of you who came to last night's Checkers game and donated to our Steve's Coats for Kids drive. Chief Meteorologist Steve Udelson was there as dozens dropped off gently used or new coats. Those will help families stay warm this winter. The Checkers say they are glad to help our annual coat drive and they hope others realize how badly some people need those jackets. Outside, I mean, you know, I, I think people are pretty grateful for their coats right now, and hopefully people can take a moment and think about people that may not be so lucky and uh, try to help out. It's not too late to help. Today is the final day of this drive. We have donation bins at Ashley Home Store locations, Showmars, Hendrick Honda, ER Plumbing Services, and all Charlotte Fire Stations.